Hello guys, <coughs> in this lesson we will accomplish or uh, establish the MATLAB Simulink application and so these are MATLAB application tool block or the integrated development environment and so we have a command window again and current folder and workspace and so we can easily set the whole the commands on this window in order to open to Simulink we write the Simulink in here like this one and so we open a start page in here in order to create an empty model we should choose the blank model in here and so pushing the left click and untitled simulink uh, diagram or the block application is open okay and so in the first place we should uh, save this form where one wheel model control can be add as a name for this file okay and so after that we should configure the whole the parameters in here like this one in order to uh, we need to select the proper solver selection I'm choosing the fixed step size in here with the addition of the man e minus 4 in here which is equal to the 0 0.1 millisecond in the sampling rate and it's enough uh, for the get the proper solution okay and so additionally uh, I'm using different technique to set the PID coefficients in here in the MATLAB simulation application we can run or we can call some functions in the MATLAB Simulink for okay and so in order to create uh, these things model properties and callback function should be initialized with the initial function okay and so where one will model control m is a name of our function in here and so every time I run this Simulink block diagram or Simulink application and so this simulinks calls this m function with the name of what the model properties function name or initial function name okay and so clear all close all and clc is given to this form and so this name should be assigned as these things okay and so these are the initial function to build the whole the function parameters PID coefficients okay and so I created the model in the this M function block and so the this assembling model uses the coefficients of this control M body from the workspace parameters okay and so what about the other parameters the other parameters is equal to the what is equal to the i x and c x value and so in the first place we should give the proper system parameter in here okay like this one i x is equal to the what i x is equal to the where is it the total form huh. i x is equal to these things okay and so I can write the IX formula like this one rho times P times R times or R or 3 times D plus 1 divided by times rho times P times R over 3 in here times D is equal to the IX coming from the shape parameter and material selections okay we should initialize the DC coefficients uh, with the proper real-life application parameters okay and so the CX is equal to what two times P times D times R square times CD okay and so these are the system parameters and uh, we need to give the system coefficients in here like this one system coefficients shape material selection 
this term is or system coefficient selection is directly related to the shape parameter so the real life design such as the r is the radius of the wheel and so we need to we need to add the this term as like this one one centimeters or the 10 centimeters in the proper wheel uh, dynamics and so we need to design the real life application model and so we can select it like this one 0 0.1 or 10 centimeters in here everything in the shape parameters is in the form of the r and d is the width of the wheel and so we need to give the 0 0.5 or 5 centimeters is the width of the these things and rho is the wheel material which is equal to for example it's an arbitrary variable in here and it's a density i don't know what the materials is this uh, proper uh, value but i choose it in the real life application the density of the wheel is directly related to the material of the wheel and so you need to choose the plastic or the any material which you used in this wheel model okay and so what about the huh okay cd parameter is equal to the one this is an also an arbitrary variable drag force coefficient okay and so if you run this term and then the everything is calculated okay and so we have the specific <coughs> cx and i x value i x is equal to the what 0 0.47 blah 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 and c x is equal to 0 0.0031 okay and so we need to boil the desired characteristic equation in here but how can we do that controllers design via pid coefficients okay and so in order to build uh, this model firstly we need to define the symbolic s variable in here and g select is equal to the what is equal to the s plus 20 times s plus 8 times s plus 7 and 20 8 and 7 are the root values on the s plane and so the root of these things is equal to the what is equal to the minus 20 minus 8 minus 7 okay and so the whole variable are stable but how can we obtain the proper coefficients from these things in the characteristic equation formation a1 a2 and a3 should be obtained coming from this location and so the ce select can be showing by the pretty collect uh, ce select commands in here and s and so if we run this program and then the r coefficients or r characteristic equation is equal to what is equal to the s over 3 plus 25 times s square plus 356 times s plus 1120 okay these are desired ce selection or the desired characteristics equation and so how can we obtain the proper notation of these things uh, such as the s over 3 has a one coefficient in here with the value of the one but s square has or possess the 35 value and so um i need to obtain these coefficients like, like this one uh coef is equal to the what coefs has a function it's a function of the matlab uh, which means that the this proper notation this proper notation can be obtained with the coefficients of these things but in the reverse order philip Eller. okay and so if i run this program now and then i obtain the 1 1 35 35 356 in the third place and the last term 1120 
is equal to the last term and so I obtain the whole value of these coefficients okay and so what about the R algorithm R algorithm means that the proper selection of these coefficients a1 should be equal to the what C X plus KD divided by I X and so I can write this code like this one a0 is equal to the a coef 1 a1 is equal to the a coef 2 a3 is a coef 3 a3 is equal to the what a coef 4 okay and so each term assigned to these things and then I can easily see that on the screen page a01 a1 35 a2 356 and so a3 1120 okay and so I obtained all the coefficients from these things and so how can I select the KD KP and KI this is the formula of our PID algorithm in here okay and so the KP is equal to the what KP is equal to the A2 times I egg, but this is a symbolic box and so these coefficients are also a symbolic and so I need to convert it with the double in order to obtain a real value from this system okay and so KD <coughs> can be calculated by A1 times I egg minus C egg and so I can also convert or cast these terms as a double and so ki is equal to the what ki double a3 times i egg okay this is our coefficients of the matrices okay and so i can only give this notation in here like this one and so if I run this program and then proper KP, KD and KI value is obtained from these things. And so what about uh, I can change, I change the value of this selection factor. If I increase the value of these things such as 129 and so KP, KD and KI should be changed because the algorithm gives us the <coughs> proper value of these things. And so if I increase this value and this value <coughs> and so <coughs> I have the different KP, KD and KI value on this notation. <coughs> okay. These are general formula coming from the choosing the PID coefficients in here and you can use this method on every system but only usage of the IAC and CAC. <coughs> you must drive this equation by using these techniques in here and so I can obtain the selected desired points on the S-plane for a specific route with the terms of the KP, KD and KI okay and so in order to use this equation in the simulink I can define the general constant matrix in here to simulink the general constant matrix can be defined by the I egg, C egg, KP, KD, and KI. Okay? And so if I run this program and then the whole the variable KP, KD, KI, I egg, C egg stored in the workspace. And so I can use these coefficients on to what on this wheel model control simulink application in the next session we will create it and we will try it okay